Hey there, and welcome back to Brainwaves. In today's video, we're going to explore the world of cuisine and talk about 12 unique foods that you may have never heard of before. From exotic fruits to rare ingredients, we've got it all covered. So, without further ado, let's get started. Our first unique food is OCA. Native to South America, this Andean tuber is a close relative to the potato. It comes in a variety of colors, from yellow to purple, and has a tangy, acidic flavor. OCA can be eaten raw or cooked, and is a popular ingredient in salads, stir-fries, and stews. Next up, we have dragon fruit, a tropical fruit that is native to Central and South America. The fruit has a bright pink or yellow exterior and a white or pink interior dotted with tiny black seeds. It has a mild, sweet taste and is often used in smoothies, sorbets, and desserts. Moving on, let's talk about kombucha. This fermented tea beverage is made by adding a sweetener and symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, SCOBY, to black or green tea. The resulting drink is slightly effervescent and has a tangy, slightly sweet taste. Kombucha is often touted for its health benefits and is popular among health enthusiasts. Up next is salsify, a root vegetable that is indigenous to Europe and Asia. It is sometimes called the oyster plant because of its delicate, subtly sweet flavor that has hints of oyster. Salsify can be eaten raw or cooked and is typically used in soups, stews, and purees. Our fifth unique food is sea buckthorn, a tart berry that grows on thorny shrubs in Asia, Europe, and North America. The fruit is packed with nutrients, including vitamin C, antioxidants, and omega-7 fatty acids. It has a tangy, slightly sour taste and is often used in jams, jellies, and syrups. Next, we have durian, a fruit with a pungent odor that is native to Southeast Asia. Despite its smell, durian has a sweet, creamy flesh that is often compared to custard or ice cream. It is a popular ingredient in desserts and smoothies, but its odor has led to it being banned in many public places such as Connecticut. Moving on, let's talk about yucca, a starchy root vegetable that is native to South America. The vegetable has a mild, slightly sweet flavor and is rich in fiber, vitamin C, and potassium. It can be boiled, fried, or mashed and is often used in Latin American and Caribbean dishes. Our eighth unique food is tomatillo, a fruit that is native to Mexico and Central America. The fruit has a papery husk that is removed before eating, revealing a bright green or yellow interior. It has a tangy, slightly tart flavor and is often used in salsas, sauces, and stews. Next up is taro, a starchy root vegetable that is native to Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. The vegetable has a mild, nutty flavor and is rich in fiber, potassium, and vitamin C. It is often cooked and mashed and is a popular ingredient in Hawaiian poi, a traditional staple food. Moving on, let's talk about amaranth a grain that was once a staple food of the Aztecs. The tiny, nutty grain is rich in protein, fiber, and micronutrients like iron and calcium. It can be used in a variety of dishes, including salads, soups, and porridges. Our eleventh unique food is jicama, also known as the Mexican turnip. The root vegetable has a slightly sweet flavor and a crunchy texture that is often compared to that of an apple. It is rich in fiber, vitamin C, and potassium and is often used in salads, salsas, and stir-fries. Last but not least, we have celeriac, a root vegetable that is native to Europe and Asia. The vegetable has a mild, celery-like flavor and a knobby, rough exterior. It is often used in soups, stews, and purees and is a rich source of vitamins C and K, potassium, and fiber. And there you have it, 12 unique foods that you may have never heard of before. We hope you enjoyed learning about these exotic ingredients and feel inspired to try something new in the kitchen. Have you heard of any of these exotic foods? If so, be sure to let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brainwaves for more videos like this one. And as always, thanks for tuning in.